So welcome back. So we want to continue with part three of process costing. In part one, we looked at how do we prepare basic process accounts. We looked at examples. A basic process account, we say it is an account without work in progress. In the second part, we looked at how do we prepare process accounts with only closing work in progress. That was in the last session. Now, in this session, we are going to look at how do we prepare process accounts with both opening work in progress and closing work in progress. I hope we are understanding the, what we are covering. We started with process accounts without work in progress. And then we went to process accounts with only closing work in progress. Now we are going to process accounts with both opening and closing work in progress. Now, this is normally the most common in exam, process accounts with both opening and closing work in progress. Now, if you've been given questions, so long as you see in the question, opening work in progress, so long as you see opening work in progress in a question, you know that it calls for process accounts with both opening and closing work in progress. So let's look at our introductory remark. We need to calculate cost per unit. We need to prepare equivalent unit statement, just like in others. However, when we are preparing these equivalent unit statement, there are two methods we can use, either FIFO method or AVCO method. There are two methods we can use to prepare equivalent unit statement and cost per unit statement whenever you have been given opening work in progress. We can use a method called FIFO method and we can use a method called AVCO method. Now, I will start with the second one because it is related to what we did in closing work in progress. So I'm, I'm skipping FIFO for now. I'm starting with AVCO. AVCO means average cost method. FIFO means first in, first out. Now I'll start with AVCO method because it is related to the ones we have just done in the previous session. I hope we are together. So I'll start with AVCO simply because it is related to the other one. So format of process accounts before I go to AVCO. Now note that there is opening work in progress. You can see Opening work in progress is posted on the debit side. And of course, closing work in progress is posted on the credit side. The rest remains the same. I'm repeating, opening work in progress on the debit side, closing work in progress on the credit side. The rest remain the same. I have said I'm starting with AVCO method because of its relationship to closing work in progress. So in AVCO method, let's start with AVCO method. How do we calculate equivalent unit statement under AVCO method? Just like when we have only closing work in progress, you need to show your output units. You need to show your closing work in progress units completed. You need to show your abnormal loss or gain units, and you need to show your total equivalent units. How do we calculate the cost per unit? Take note of what I've written in red. Cost per unit is the same as the other one under closing work in progress, but in total cost, you take openings work in progress plus what we were doing before. What we were doing before, the debit amounts are what we call period costs. I will show you with an example. So the difference is, in this case, when there is opening work in progress, we add opening work in progress to the normal costs we were high, we were using. To the normal costs you are using, you add opening work in progress. And then of course you get the total equivalent units and cost per unit. We have an example with us. Actually there are two examples. Let me look at which one is longer. And then I choose the one that is longer. Let me see. I just want to choose the one that is longer. Yes, let me opt for example two because it is longer. You know, a longer example is better for us 
because it covers everything. Does this question have normal laws? If it does not have, I'll go for the other one. Do you see normal laws? Does this one have normal laws? The, no, the one with normal laws is the one with the is a longer question. Which one has got normal laws? During the month, 3,000 units were transferred from process one, added materials, conversion costs. No, this question does not have normal laws. So let's go back to the other one then. This one has got normal laws. So this one is the longer one. So ABC Limited has the following information. D materials, 8,000 units, direct materials, in other words, costing 24,000. Conversion costs, 18,000. Normal Laws is 5% and scrap value is $2 per unit. Output is 5,000 units. Closing work in progress is 2,000 units completed as. There is the opening work in progress completed as. And then required prepare process account using P4 and Avco. But we have started with. with we have started with. We have started with avco method so let me go to this question and we solve using avco method using avco method so i'll pick everything the way it was here and then i'll explain what is the difference so let me just pick everything there i've picked everything just like in the previous question so that we save time so I'll come and paste it there. Okay. Let me do some small editing here and there. So I was just doing that to save a lot of our time. So let me remove these contents. You know how we prepared that from our last examples. Of course, I'll remove those contents. I'll remove all those contents. So all these will change. Okay, now because that is changing, I'm just editing that because there is opening work in progress. So realize, you should realize that what I'm adding here. So you should realize that what I'm adding here is opening. Opening, you realize that opening work in progress. Because pr this process account has got opening work in progress. The rest basically remains the same. So let's read and post. ABC Limited has the following information. D materials, 8,000 costing 24,000. So 8,000, direct materials are 8,000 and the cost is 24,000. I hope we have seen that. Next, normal, sorry, conversion costs 18,000. Conversion costs 18,000. Conversion costs 18,000. Okay. Conversion costs, I'm just removing the formulas. So conversion costs, 18,000. Normal loss is 5% and scrap value is 2. So normal loss is 5% times 
times 5%. And scrap value is 2. So the scrap value is 2. And the normal loss amount is 400 times 2. Normal loss amount is given there. Now, what is our output? The question gives you output. Output is 5,000 units. Output is 5,000 units. You always just read the question and post. Uh, closing work in progress is 2,000 units with the percentages that have been given. Closing work in progress is 2,000 units. And opening work in progress is 1,200 units. Now let's check here. Opening work in progress is 1,200 completed as follows. Now you can see we have been given 4,000 and 3,000 as the values of opening work in progress. So the amount is equals to 4,000 plus 3,000. You take all the values. So it gives you an amount opening work in progress the value is 7,000. How do I get 7,000? 4,000 value plus 3,000 value. If you add the two, it gives you the total value of opening work in progress. Now, we can go for the normal routine. After that, we test whether we have abnormal loss or gain. So you take 1,200 plus 8,000. It gives you 9,200. You compare to this side. You have 400 plus 5,000 plus 2,000. It gives you 7,400. So which one is higher? This amount is the one that is higher. 9,200 is the higher amount. So what is our abnormal loss? Our abnormal loss is equal to 9,200 minus 400 minus 5,000 minus 2,000. It gives us... 1,800 as our abnormal loss. This amount, we can get it. That amount, we can get it as 49. So if we are right, these must balance at 49. So once you've accounted for that, you come and now account for your output units. What are our output units? You take it as 100%. 100%. Output is always... 100% as I had explained. Output is always 100%. I had previously explained. Now, closing work in progress is 2,000 units, but you are given the percentages of completion. Closing work in progress is 2,000 units. You are given percentages of completion. So it is 2,000 times closing work in progress completed materials 80%. 80%. And conversion is, again, 2,000 times 60% is the conversion 60%. So 60%. So it gives you 1,200. What is our abnormal loss? Abnormal loss is 1,800. So you take it, because there were no percentages in the question, you take 1,800. You take 1,800 times 100% and you take 1,800 times 100%. So it gives you that. So what is the total equivalent units? Total equivalent units is 5,000 plus 1,600 plus 1,800. It gives you 8,400. And this other one is 8,000. Now let's be extremely attentive in the next part. Now we said that when there is opening work in progress, you take the amount that is there, look at this, what is the cost per unit? Remember total amount, not NB, total amount, amount is equals to period costs, plus opening work in progress. 
please take note of that. Period costs plus opening work in progress. Period costs plus opening work in progress. How do we get 7,000? Thank you, Aline, for answering that. Answering Bob. Bob, are we together? Bob, have you seen how we've got 7,000? Can you type in the response so that we move on? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Let's move on. And that, that is good. It has happened at the right time, that answer. Now, total amount, look at what I'm doing carefully. It is direct materials was 24,000 minus normal loss amount. Normal loss amount was 800. And then you add opening work in progress amount for materials. What is the opening work in progress amount for materials? 4,000. You add 4,000. Please remember to add 4,000 is the opening for materials. You do conversion the same. Conversion is 18,000 plus 3,000 is the opening plus 3,000. So that gives you a total of 27,200 and 21,000. Total equivalent is from there. Total equivalent is picked from there. Cost per unit is total amount divided by total equivalent units. So it gives you three point something. So it gives you that. Now we can get the value of output. Value of output, the units in the equivalent unit statement is 5,000. 5,000. Cost per unit, we have calculated as 3.2 and 2.6. And the amount will be 5,000 times 3.2. So it will be 30. It, the total is 29,315. Same to closing work in progress. Closing work in progress, in the statement, it is 1,600. I've brought that and 1,200. Cost per unit, we have calculated. Cost per unit, we have calculated. The total amount is 1,600 times 3.2. And we also get 1,200 times 3.2. It gives us eight. Next, abnormal loss. Abnormal loss, we also go and pick the units there from the equivalent unit statement. Okay, cost per unit, we also go and pick cost per unit we have calculated. Cost per unit to give you this times that. And I'm seeing there is a chart. So, I do not understand how you get total amount. Let me repeat. Under AVCO method, average cost method, under average cost method, we said total amount is period cost plus opening work in progress. We want to get total amount of direct materials and conversion costs. Direct materials, the period cost is 24000 but there was a loss of 800, 24,000 minus 800. But because we have opening work in progress, you add materials value of opening work in progress, 4,000. So it is 24,000 minus 800 plus 4,000 of opening work in progress to give you 27. I hope we are together. So what I'm trying to say here, it is 24,000 minus 800 plus 4,000. It gives you 27,200. I hope I'm, we are together.
Okay, we have that. And the other one is 18,000 plus conversion opening is 3,000. Conversion opening is 3,000. So that gives you It gives you any question you people you have. This is the last time you should be asking. Thank you, Rosine. I hope you've understood. So let's continue. So we have completed the question. Let's just post the amounts to see if it balances. What is the value of output? 29. What is the value of closing work in progress? It is 83. What is the value of abnormal laws? Value of abnormal laws, it's 10,554. So it gives us a total of, if we add, do we see if it balances? It gives us a total of 49,000. It has balanced. So remember in AVCO method, how do we calculate equivalent unit statement? How do we prepare equivalent unit statement? Output, do you confirm it has balanced? 49 and 49, it has balanced. So how do you prepare equivalent unit statement? You take the output units, you identify closing work in progress completed, units completed. You look for abnormal loss units and then to give you total equivalent units. How do you get cost per unit? In cost per unit is total amount plus opening work in progress. Total amount plus opening work in progress. That brings us to the end of AVCO method. AVCO method, average cost method. So finally for today, which will take us about 30 minutes or so, 30 minutes or so, let's look at fast in, fast out method. Let's look at fast in, fast out, or what you call FIFO method. So in our FIFO method, it will return us back to our slides. So let's go back to our slides as we look at FIFO method. Now in FIFO method, it is completely different how we account for equivalent unit statement. Accounting for, and it is longer. Accounting for equivalent unit statement is different under first in, first out method. So in this case, equivalent unit statement under first in, first out, out method, you start by showing opening work in progress units not completed. You show opening work in progress units not completed. And then number two, you show what is called fully worked units. You show what is called fully worked units. Number three, how do you get fully worked units? Sorry, number two, is output units minus opening work in progress. Fully worked units is output units minus opening work in progress. There will be an example to explain this, don't worry. Next, we have closing work in progress completed. Remember, opening work in progress was not completed. Closing work in progress is the one that is completed. And then you look for any abnormal loss or gain to give you total equivalent units. And then cost per unit of course is total cost but don't add opening in fifo we don't have we don't add opening and then total equivalent units and cost per unit note it is very important value of output is calculated differently in this context value of output is equals to opening work in progress completed in other words value of opening work in progress completed plus value of opening work in progress not completed. So there are two opening work in progress. Opening work in progress completed and opening work in progress not completed. And then we have you add fully worked. You add fully worked. You add fully worked. So value of output is opening work in progress completed plus opening work in progress not completed plus fully worked units, plus fully worked units. So again, I'm seeing something in the chat. Sir, in equivalent unit statement, do we add abnormal gain when we have it or we less it? George, that's a very good question. We less. If it's abnormal gain, we less. 
abnormal loss we add abnormal gain we less george are we clear abnormal gain we less abnormal loss we add am i clear george can you respond so that we move on okay thank you now let's go and do the same example but using fifo method so let's go for the same example using fifo method now we reread the question again the same example but using a different approach which is fifo so abc limited has the following information direct materials 8000 units costing 24000 Conversion costs, 18,000. Normal loss is 5%. And the scrap value is $2 per unit. Output is 5,000 units. Closing work in progress is 2,000 units. Completed as materials, 80%. Conversion, 60%. Opening work in progress is 1,200. Completed as materials, 90%. Conversion, 75%. Required prepare process accounts but now we are using we are using fifo method let's be extremely attentive this one is longer but it is i'll try to simplify it in a way everyone will understand so process accounts this was process accounts using avco method this was using avco method Avco method is what we did. The same question. But now, on the side here, I want to do the same, same question using FIFO method. I hope we are clear. So I want to go for the same, same question using FIFO method. FIFO method using FIFO method besides it there. Okay. So I'll, I'll just copy most of the items that are the same. Okay, I'll copy that again, cost per unit. I'll copy this. Again, process account. I'll copy this. To save time. Okay, value of output. Of course, the, the remaining ones are different. So I'll copy value of closing work in progress first. I'll copy value of abnormal. And then I'll have value of output. Value of, I think it's number six. Value of output. I'm putting it as the last one because it is different. Now you, you people, can you allow me to hide this so that I navigate properly? Let me hide this Avco method. Let me hide it so that I now have enough space. I hope you've understood me. Let me hide it so that I have enough space to navigate through. So I've hidden the Avco because we have already completed it. So remember, we are preparing process account. The same, same question. Anything that is different, we change. Anything that is the same, we don't change. Now, of course, 
in the process account, in the process accounts, these ones will change. Only those ones will change. The other items will remain the same. I hope you remember this. It's the same, same question. So I've just carried the information so that you know it's the same, same question. The same, same question. I've not changed anything. Now we said under the FIFO method, let me put it full screen. So under the FIFO method, equivalent unit statement, you start with opening, if you remember, opening work in progress, not completed. You show you are opening work in progress, units not completed. So you show you are opening work in progress units not completed. Number two, you show what we called fully worked units. I will tell you what that is, even though I had already explained it. You show you are closing work in progress completed units completed remember this was opening work in progress units not completed okay here we have abnormal laws we already know it's an abnormal laws of course units and then we have total equivalent units. Total equivalent units. We have it there. Total equivalent units. Total equivalent units. In cost per unit, we have the total amount we have total total equivalent equivalent units and we have cost per cost per unit cost per unit of course let me wrap it Okay, we have cost per unit. Now, under closing, of course, we, closing work in progress, we have units and we have total amount. Sorry, cost per unit. Cost per unit. And then we have total amount. Okay, units. Okay, value of output. Now this one is, I'll copy that. Now we said under value of output, you show value of opening not completed. Value of opening, opening, not completed or opening completed, completed. You show opening not completed. And finally, you show fully worked. I will explain it when I reach there. Don't worry about that. There is a lot of explanation there. So let me pause it for now. 
So we have our template to be used. So because our template is there, it will now enable us to save time. And we have total value. Okay, so we have these. So, so let's continue. We have everything we need in the question. So let's be extremely attentive as we wind up, as we fill the process account. Now, in our process account, in this case, we start with equivalent unit statement. So we have said under the FIFO method, you need to show you are opening work in progress. What is not happening? Okay, opening work in progress, not completed. Opening work in progress units, not completed. So what you need to do, what we need to do in this case, we need to have opening work in progress. You can see it here. Opening work in progress is 1,200. Let us be very attentive. Opening work in progress is 1,200. Completed. The key word there is, completed but we are looking for what is not completed what is completed is 1200 units 90 percent is completed what percentage is not completed can you type for me in the chat what percentage is not completed if 90 percent is complete what is not complete thank you 10%. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Now, same to conversion. If 75% is complete, what is not complete? What is not complete? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's continue. Now, I'm just doing whatever you have told me. You have told me what is not complete is 10%. Sorry, 10%, I multiply by the number of units is 1,200. In this other one, what is not complete is 25%. So I'll take 25% times 1,200, times 1,200. I said fully worked units. I said fully worked units is equals to output output minus opening work in progress i'm repeating fully what is your output units output units Okay, I think that is better that way. I just wanted it to fit. So fully worked units, look at what I'm doing. For materials, it is, I go to the process account and take the output and I minus opening. Output minus opening. It gives you 3,800. I repeat the same. Output minus opening fully worked so fully worked i've put in bracket output minus opening output minus opening closing work in progress units completed completed opening was not completed this other one is completed so closing work in progress is here completed as 80 percent so it is 80 percent times 2000 is the closing work in progress and then the other one is 
60% times 2,000 again is the close mm, completed. Finally, abnormal laws, abnormal laws, we pick it from the question, 1,800, 1,800. But if you have been given percentage of losses, which are different, you multiply by percentage of losses given. I'm repeating. Abnormal laws, you are not given percentages. But if you have been given percentages, you use percentages given. Now, what is our total equivalent units? It is opening plus fully worked plus closing work in progress plus abnormal laws. Abnormal laws is X6. So, okay, and then I scroll that down to get also this other one. So, the total equivalent, I can bring it there because we have already calculated it. The total equivalent, I can bring it there because we have already calculated it. Now, total amount in FIFO method, you just take the simple total amount. In FIFO method, you just take 24,000 minus the amount. Remember, you add opening. You add opening under AVCO method. But under FIFO method, you just take the, the direct materials minus the normal loss amount. Conversion, you just take 18,000 the way it is. That gives you cost per unit. Cost per unit is the total amount divided by total equivalent units. It, whatever value it gives you, Okay, 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 it's different. So to, to, to four decimal places, but I said you use what you have been told. Okay, now let's go to the process account and calculate the value of closing work in progress. We have the units of closing work in progress in the equivalent unit statement. 1600, we have the units there. And... Abnormal laws units we also have in equivalent unit statement, 1800. We have them there. Cost per unit, we have already calculated 3.1694 and 3.2.5352. So if I round off to what it was, so that is what we had. So what is our total amount? The units times the cost per unit. Units times cost per unit. We repeat the same for abnormal laws. What is the cost per unit for abnormal laws? 3.1694. And for the conversion, it is, okay, two point something. So let's round it so that we clearly see it. So that is what we have. So we have 1,800 times 3.1694. Okay, so what is the total value of output? The total value of output is, sorry, of closing work in progress, you add those two. It gives you 8113. The total value of abnormal laws, you add again those two. Now, there is a problem somewhere. Let me explain it. You see, in value of Closing work in progress, closing work in progress is in the equivalent unit statement. Closing work in progress is in equivalent unit statement. Abnormal laws is also in the equivalent unit statement. But output is not in the equivalent unit statement. Output is not, output is not in equivalent units statement. You cannot see output here. So how do we calculate output? That is what we were now told. Value of output is opening completed, value of opening completed, value of opening not completed, plus value of fully worked. Now, the examiner gave you value of opening completed. You can see opening work in progress is 1,200. And the value completed is 4,000. 
and 3,000. So the examiner gave you opening completed value is 4,000 and 3,000. That one you are given. What you are not given is not completed. Now, not completed, you can find it from the equivalent unit statement. Let's start with materials. What is the materials not completed? Material units not completed, not completed is 120, but we are looking for the value. You multiply by the cost per unit. For conversion is also the same. 300, you multiply by the cost per unit. That gives you the value. Fully worked is also in the equivalent units. Fully worked is 3,800. You multiply by the cost per unit. The same for conversion. 3,800, you multiply by the cost per unit. We are done. So we can get, we are in a position to get the totals of all these. So what is the total? The total is, as we summarize, the total is, I'll take 4,000 plus 380 plus 12044. The next one is 3,000 plus 761 plus 96, whatever value is there. So the total amount is finally 16 plus 13. So it gives us a total of 29. And that brings us to the end of process costing in this case. We just bring the total value of output. What is the total value of output? 29. What is the total value of closing work in progress? 813. 8113. What is the total value of abnormal laws? It is 10268. 10268. And therefore, if it balances, we are right. Does it balance? Let's see. It has balanced at 49. It has balanced at 49. So that is how we prepare process accounts using first in, first out. First in, first out. And that brings us to the end of the session on process costing.